So welcome to episode two of the Kitchen Makeover. I have made tons of progress. So as you saw in the last video, I am keeping a running total of everything that I'm spending, which I'm keeping in the bottom corner of the video. This is to make myself accountable to myself and because I want to keep the budget really, really small. So firstly, I finished that um, little cladding project next to my dishwasher, that was done, the cladding was installed. Then I moved on and I painted my ceiling and that had two coats of the Wilkinson's matte white paint. I am really happy with how that turned out and actually I had that paint already so I didn't need to go and buy any more. Then I started painting the walls. The walls were painted in Wilco's or Wilkinson's ivory tusk paint, also a matte paint. And I bought a really large pot of that when I started doing my kitchen, when I did the first part of my kitchen before Christmas. So again, I didn't spend that money specifically on this project because that paint I also used it in my sitting room and I'm going to be using it in my dining room. So here is a mini tour so I can show you what I've been doing. Right, here we go. As you can see, I have been painting or repainting the plate rack and that is with the Faro and Ball um, Cornforth White. So this was a grey sort of colour but I have sanded this um, and repainted it um, the colour that I like. Um, I have got the tiles. I've gone with um, some subway tiles, which I got from Wix. They were 11 99 per square metre. I didn't go with white in the end, which was what I thought I was going to do. I ended up getting the cream because nothing in my kitchen is going to be white. And it, when I got a white sample, it just looked too stark. So... I've gone with the cream and see how that goes. I have picked up some more bits from um, Wilkinson's this morning. Now, because I'm struggling with the floor, I've got some of these wire brushes to try, and they were only £1.25, and um, so I'm gonna give them a go. And what I think I'm gonna do is test out lots of different things I found on the internet that might clean my tiles and my grout, and do a little test and see if I can work out what is the best way of cleaning tiles and grout. Well, in particular for me, it's slate. It's these awful slate tiles. Um, so the other thing that I got was like a spreader and a grout. Uh, well, it helped me with the grouting when I'm doing the tiling. I got a little brush and I've been wanting one of these for ages, one of these little stubby, uh, well, you can use it on furniture, but I've got some areas which are difficult to paint or difficult to get to. So I'm going to use this. So I thought I'd try that out. I thought the, the bristles look really nice. Anyway, moving on, because obviously I've taken the plate rack down, over here on this wall, I've painted all of this wall over here in uh, the Wilkinson's Ivory Tusk. I've also gone all along the beam and all along that wall. Now over here, I have, as you can see, taken the tiles off and to be honest, I wasn't that popular with my family because they all said they actually liked the tiles that were there before. But I don't know if you remember, they were brown. And to me, even though they sort of had a copper look, which I suppose is quite fashionable, they look really drab. So I've taken those off. And then this is one of the samples, which was the one I ended up going with. That's the Wix Cosmopolitan Cream. And then that's up against the wall colour. I think that's going to look really nice. I just thought the white was too light. Um, so this surface, I haven't, I've given it all a good clean, but it still needs, I still need to do the wood bleach. So that's one of the jobs I need to do and sort that out. I did do the cladding. I think I've shown you this. I've done the cladding on the side. So that's all done and painted and installed, ready to go. So I've got to paint the front of this cupboard, do the drawers. I'm still deciding on whether to stain up these knobs or get some poles or something. I think I might do that because the hardware is black and obviously I've got a bit of cleaning up to do on these. I'm thinking either silver or black on the knobs and then I thought here I'd probably keep these. These are oak but I think I might go darker and dye these like a darker brown so we'll decide on that. 
So, so far, and you can see over here, I'm in the middle of, I've got Polly Pocket dolls on there. And so these are all my plates I took down from the plate rack. This is my um, medicine cabinet and I'm in the middle of um, doing this, if I explain what I did. So I sanded it all. I used several types of sandpaper working down the grits. And then the lastly, I went over it with some fine wire wool. And I was really happy with that. And then I primed it, left it overnight, and then I've painted it with the top coat of the Farnball Cornforth White. I've taken the door off and the hardware, the um, knob and the hinges. So this needs another coat. And then down here, this is the door and the little drawer at the bottom. Again, they need another coat. And I've taken the hinges off. And I, what I've done is because they were brass, I decided to spray paint them black and I've actually done that on these two hinges and I think I will probably do that with all of the hinges so they all look the same because it's come out really nicely so then on this wall as I said that's where the medicine cabinet was so I've I've painted this wall given that a couple of coats of paint and I'm really happy with how that's turned out so I've still got a really long list but that is where I've got to so far the other job that I've done is I've finished my medicine cabinet that is back up on the wall and I have organised it inside and I'm really happy with the, the way that turned out. In the end I spray painted the hinges in a copper colour because when I cleaned up the hinges on the sink unit I found out that the hinges were not black, they were actually a kind of antique gold embarrassingly so um, I have tried to sort of tone them in with a copper tone um, on the medicine cabinet but again it was it was a paint that I had because I'm not going to spend any more money to try and um, get exactly the right colour but it's fine I'm happy with it. So here is a before and after of the medicine cabinet. lots left to do in the kitchen but I have made tons of progress and I've been really enjoying it so join me in my next video for episode three where I'm going to do a tutorial on um, how to paint um, my kitchen cabinets or how I've done it um, so join me in my next video and I will see you soon oh don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this I would love to have you um, as one of my subscribers. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.